Testing, one, two, three. Hey, what's up guys? Joseph Sykora here with another video from Creative Piano Academy. Again, we're looking at left-hand piano patterns and this time I've got another amazing, beautiful sounding pattern for you. Not only is it great to play, but it also has that bonus of working your span, that, that finger span thing in your left hand. So, we learn that left-hand pattern. I also show you something you can actually play in the right, something dead simple you can add to it in the right hand. It sounds great. It's got that kind of Ludovic... Ludovic... Ludovic, Ludovic, Ludovico Iannaudi vibe about it. So if you like Ludovico Iannaudi, you're gonna love this pattern. So let's get going. Hey guys, remember on this channel, I post simple techniques to get you playing better piano. Sounds good to you? Smash that subscribe button. Now, let's get going. Okay guys, so, you know, I was just sat there writing my own music and my left hand started doing something. I thought, well, it sounds really good. Why don't I do a video on it and show you exactly what I'm doing? Because it sounds, it sounds like it's, it's got that kind of Ludovico Iannaudi-esque kind of thing going on. It's got a really nice span, so I think it'll do your left hand a real world of good. So um, I want to show you what this pattern is first. So I'll play it first and then I'll show you exactly how I'm going to show you it. Um, so this is how it sounds. Okay, so we can move this position, this, this pattern anywhere on the piano, but I want to show you it in these two positions first because it uses different fingerings and if you can get used to these two positions, you can kind of move it anywhere on the piano and be able to play it. So um, first I'm gonna show you what the pattern is uh, and then I'm gonna kind of show you a bit of a right hand melody or, or something we can do in the right hand to turn it into a piece of music. And then what I might do is if you guys, you know, if you guys like and comment on this video, I might make a second part and see if we can add to this and turn it into a really, really nice piece of music, okay? So first of all, get your left hand. We're going to use an A flat major chord. So it's like this here, A, A flat, a C and an E down in this position, but instead of playing this C here, we're gonna play the C up here. We're gonna break that chord up. So I want you to put your little finger, your fifth finger onto this A flat. Let's see if we can get used to this first, okay? So we've got an A flat, an E flat, and then a top C. So notice here, I'm turning, I'm turning this wrist. My wrist is still staying relaxed, okay? And I've got this nice arc, I'm not doing this hopping between that E flat and the C. I don't want to hop, okay? So first of all, you need to get used to those first three notes. We've got A flat, E flat, turn. The elbow comes in a little bit, boom, up to that C. So A flat, E flat, C, okay? Now, just whilst you're pressing that, um, this has got a really nice kind of three time feel. So when you listen to it, you should be counting to three each time. So it's like one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And that's important when you're playing it to kind of keep that kind of that that um what we call a count going in your head because uh, when you're playing this, you want to feel that music as well as just playing it and seeing as technical notes and just technique. That's all very well and good, but you want to feel this as well. You want to feel that time signature and get used to it. So we can break this down into a little exercise here and just go between these four notes. Okay, notice my pedal's down for this. Okay, so I'm turning, yeah? My wrist is turning. So that's just a little exercise. Okay, so the actual pattern, we want A flat, E flat, C, and then notice here, look, I'm bringing it down to the E flat again, and then the C again with the thumb. So once I'm in this position, I don't move like this, okay? I just stay. This is my first position. That's comfortable. And now I'll move to this position. That's comfortable. C, E, C, okay? And you just want to keep repeating that. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. So nice and slow. One, two, three, one, two. Get that pedal down, okay? If you're not used to the pedal yet, check out my video on pedal on how to use the pedal. 
Okay. So, notice the fingering here. I've got my little finger, which is finger five, and I'm using my third finger here. Okay, I'm not using my second finger to do this. I could do, I guess, but it's far more comfortable to use my third finger like this. It's much nicer on that span. That's that's quite difficult. That's not as that's not as difficult. So here, okay. So I do that three times, and then what I was doing is from here, I was moving up to a C minor position. Now, in this C minor position. The reason I wanted, the reason I picked this chord for you, is because it'll give you a bit of a different way of playing it. The the you need to use this finger here. You need to use your second finger. So we've got five on the C, second finger on the G, and then your thumb on the E flat up here. So we get this. Okay, and it follows the same pattern. Three. You see, I've got bro that broken chord. Now it's a C minor chord, except my you know, C. E flat and a G, except this E flat, I'm moving up to here. So let's try that. I've got a C, a G, and an E flat. Okay? So again, just like we practiced the other one here, going between those notes just to get used to that positioning. <laughs> it's like when I'm doing these videos, I just come up with different ideas. I mean, that is a pattern in itself, you know? You could just go between those. Sounds beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, just to break that down and practice that span, that is something you, you, you can do, okay? Anyway, so once you've got that, second finger, thumb onto the E flat, G, E flat, okay? So we get that boom, 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 like that. One, two, three. Okay. Now in the pan that I was doing, in the in the sequence that I was doing, I was only playing this pattern once and then moving back to the A flat. It's entirely up to you. You don't need to just do that. Um, but that's, that's that's what I was doing. So if I play it nice and slowly from the e, from the A flat position, one, two, three, and then we move to the C. Keep that going in a nice loop, okay? So that's it. Fingering changes. Fingering changes. Okay, incidentally, I do have a video on adding emotion into your playing as well, so I'll put it in the cards, do check that out. So to round this video off, I did want to give you uh, something you can do in the right hand to really elevate it and give you something to, to play that sounds musical and sounds like a piece of music. Um, so, in this first position here, this A flat, um, notice the third note is a C here. We're actually bringing that up here. In the right hand, just play octave Cs over the top, okay? I'll play it for you first, and just playing something so simple can sound so magical, and I'll, I'll show you how that sounds, okay? Okay, and you can already hear how that can move in different places and, and everything like that. So, um, right, right hand, two C's up here, just octaves. And all you need to do is, you, what I was doing is just to give it a bit of a musical flair, is I, was, I wasn't just playing octaves together like this, I was kind of going, I was giving it a bit of a bring sound. So I was playing the C's a little bit next to each other. Okay, so you can have a go at that as well. And all I'm doing, putting the pedal down and I'm adding those C's over the top of this pattern. So really slowly. Okay. Three. And now when I change to the C position, the C minor position, the third note in C minor, or the, 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 um, the second note in the triad, this is our C minor chord, is that E flat. So I'm going to move up to the E flat here. Really bring out that minor sound and then back to the A flat. Okay. That 
gives you something in the right hand to play as well. So you've got loads of practicing there and I'm not going to go into detail as to how to do this. What I might do is put part two together of this and try and explore different ways we can do it. But just to give you an idea of how we can turn this into a really, really nice piece of music, check this out. So that's just an example of where you can take this. I mean, I was so excited to show you this because I really want you to see how when you practice those little tiny patterns and you maybe practice a few other things here and there, they can all add together and stack on top of each other. And before you know it, you can be writing some really, really nice music. So I hope that's given you something to play that's going to kind of light a, light a spark inside you, something that's going to make you get a little bit creative. So back to me. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, leave me a comment down below if you want me to explore this theme a little bit further and make another video on how we can add that right hand, sort of develop that right hand, turn this into a beautiful piece of music. I'd love to know if that is something that you guys would want. Head to creativepianoacademy.com for my latest resource at the time of this video. It's all about the best adult practice plan. Like the video if you liked it, smash that subscribe button and I will see you, I will see you in the next video.